Next thing we're going to do is go to our package.json and start writing some of the scripts. So we are going to say webpack dev server. And this is going to value will be webpack dev server. This is for running our local development server. And then we're going to create a script called dev. Let's say webpack serve. And then mode equals development. We also need to do prod for production, like when we're running a build. So we'll just say prod. And then this is going to say webpack mode equals production. And we'll say node env equals production. Reason why we're doing this is because uh, this will help us perform any actions into our application depending on whether it's development or production. Uh, node env environment variable will be available under process.env.nodeenv in our production environment. Okay, awesome. So that's that. And then we also need to set up the production server. So for that, there's a package called serve that's available. So we'll say npm install serve in development mode. And then we're going to write the script for that as well. So it says serve. First thing we'll do is we'll run prod before serving. npm run prod and so we can run the second command like and serve hyphen s hyphen s means to redirect all of the URLs to hyphen s and then dist. So it's going to serve the dist folder. Okay. So we've got all of our scripts configured. Uh, now I'm going to run the development server and pm run dev. Let's see what happens. So you can see the webpack is running and it's running on localhost 8080. Uh, look at what it's doing over here. It's basically taking your index.js and it's outputting a main.js, right? And you won't see the disk folder while in development. The reason for this is because that disk folder is in RAM, read only memory. You won't be able to see that, but I will show it to you when we run production. Now, if I go back and open it, congratulations. You can see we've got hello world. Just to give you a recap, just to give you a recap, we have our index.js and it's going to take our app. So our app is basically a React component app. It's just returning hello world and it's going to use the React DOM dot render function is going to take our app and insert it into a div with an id of root inside of index.html if you go back and check that's the div with an id of root and it's inserted that if i go ahead and make changes to our app let's say i put uh, a div and then i'll say heading hello world so this is jsx and then put p tag load a mipsum you'll see that that has come now right if you're wondering how is it that uh, it's actually loaded without having to refresh the page is because webpack is running under watch mode it's constantly watching for the changes you can see that this was previous compilation this is the compilation now that we made so it's kind of went ahead and outputted that just grasped all of the changes and and made the change over here all right awesome congratulations so you've set up our react application which is great now i'm going to show you the production server as well so i'm going to do npm run serve remember it's going to run two commands notice it's running npm run prod first once that is done it is running the next command, which is serve hyphen s dist and serve help. See this hyphen s is basically says rewrite all the not found requests to index.html. So that's the reason I'm using hyphen s flag. Okay, so it's running on the development server, it's running on the production server localhost 5000 and uh, it's basically outputted our main.js and index.html. Take a look now. See, this folder is created now. You've got your index. 
uh, HTML, which is basically the copy of this file, except that now you have got main.js inserted inside of it as a script. And you also have this main.js and this outputted by Webpack. Uh, of course, you won't be able to understand it. It's been wrapped inside of a lot of ifies, but this contains your file that you have uh, written basically. So if I went ahead and, and now if I go on to localhost 5000, you can see that you've got your hello world, you've got Lodem Ipsum, which is great. This is awesome. Congratulations. So our local server and development server both are running. Now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and start creating our application further. 